The past is no longer yours. The future is not yet in your power. You have only the present wherein to do good. Acquire the habit of speaking to God as if you were alone with Him, familiarly and with confidence and love, as to the dearest and most loving of friends. Speak to Him often of your business, your plans, your troubles, your fears, of everything that concerns you. There is nothing more pleasing to God than to see a soul who patiently and certainly bears whatever crosses it is sent. This is how love is made, by putting lover and loved one on the same level. A soul who loved Jesus Christ desires to be treated the way Christ was treated, desires to be poor, despised and humiliated. The brightest ornaments in the crown of the blessed in heaven are the sufferings which they have borne patiently on earth. He who suffers in patience suffers less and saves his soul. He who suffers impatiently suffers more and loses his soul. Let us make up for lost time. Let us give to God the time that remained to us. Without prayer, it is impossible to resist temptations and to keep the commandments. The means for maintaining perfect love is to accomplish frequent acts of love. Fire is kindled by the wood we cast into it, and love is enkindled by acts of love. We call adversities evil. Actually, they are good and meritorious when we receive them as coming from God's hands.